so I recently enjoyed spending time trying on watches at Vacheron Constantine's boutique in London and in this video I'll share my five favorites. For quick context, Vacheron were founded in 1755. That makes them the oldest watch manufacturer in continuous operation in the world nearly 270 years of uninterrupted production. They were founded by Jean-Marc Vacheron and alongside Audemars Piguet and Patek Philippe, Vacheron and Constantine are part of that holy trinity of Swiss watchmaking. Vacherons have most famously been worn by Marlon Brando, who was gifted this watch by Zaza Gabor and engraved on the back from Zaza with love. It is to commemorate the release of On the Waterfront, which Brando went on to win an Oscar for. More recently, Brad Pitt has been spotted wearing the 222, of which coincidentally, he owns at least two. So my personal favorites are at number five, the Traditionnel collection, which continues the spirit of Vacheron's heritage from 18th century. Here is the elegant tourbillon. At number four, the 56 collection, which offers by far the best value. And I love this annual calendar with its petrol blue dial, which in steel at just over 20K is a steel, making it in my mind, perhaps the best value horterology annual calendar complication. It's worth a look and like most Vacherons, can sometimes be found significantly cheaper secondhand. At number three, the Overseas Collection, which was reinvented in 2016 as the ideal daily wear, and it comes with interchangeable straps and bracelets. It is beautifully finished, and it is a stealthy connoisseur's choice in steel, but very, very striking in gold. The top two are both for me from Vacheron's Historique Collection. And at number two, it's again the 222, perhaps the most exquisitely finished Vacheron bracelet. And it is their 1970s answer to the more iconic Royal Oak and Nautilus. If only that bracelet tapered a little more. And at number one, it is the American 1921. And as that name gives away, it was originally produced in 1921 for the American market. But it continues to be Vacheron's most inventive, most distinct, intuitive, and I think iconic design. And it really does wear great on the wrist. I do like this a lot. In fact, I was very fortunate to be offered to buy it immediately at retail. But honestly, at 39,000 for this white gold version, I wasn't quite ready to commit. But it is a beautiful watch. Lastly, not included in this list, but I need to give a special mention to the Metier d'Art range, which includes genuine works of art commissioned on Vacheron's dials. Very beautiful. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and I would love, as always, to hear your comments. What do you think of Vacheron and which is your favorite? If you did enjoy this video, I would really appreciate if you can click like, subscribe and notify. It really does mean a lot. Thank you for watching.